Are you warm? Uh, Don't put it on. As a lifeguard, I'm telling you that's not the best idea for your safety. Yeah. Just give me one moment. How did that feel, Connor? Oh. Hi, my name is Connor Baker. Welcome to NBC. I think I did well. Great job. Oh. Hello, and welcome to the first Late Show of the semester. I'm your host, David Berg, and I'm here with... Hello, I am, my name is Connor Baker, and I'm a freshman here at Muhlenberg College. So, we got an exciting episode tonight. We are talking about being a freshman at Muhlenberg. So let's start, where are you from? I'm from 15 minutes down the road. I'm from Schnecksville, Pennsylvania. Wow, so you, uh, did you, have you lived there your whole life? Uh, yes, I have. I've lived there for 18, 18 and a half years, give or take. So did you always know you wanted to come to Muhlenberg? Yeah, back in eighth grade, there was a computer fair event where basically we went down to Muhlenberg and it was for like a competition. And I just felt really comfortable with that school. Like I could see myself there. And ever since like eighth grade till now, I understand like, hey, this was the school for me. And I applied early decision in November and here we are right now. Well, congrats on being at Muhlenberg. So a couple questions. What dorm are you in? I'm in the air conditioning waltz. And is, did, was that your first choice for a dorm? Heck yeah, it was. Heck yeah, it was. I lived in Prosser. I liked the dining hall. I, that was one of the main reasons why I came to Muhlenberg. That's the main reason for all of us. <laughs> I've, I've gained a couple pounds from mm -hmm. it, but you know. Freshman 15. For me, it was like freshman 3.2 for me. <laughs> but it's been a lot of, it's been like the food is excellent. I haven't. I haven't found a bad thing so far here. So what is your favorite thing to eat at GQ? Cheese fries. Cheese fries, ooh, that is delicious. Hi, and welcome to NBC. My name is Connor Baker. And I'm Avital kessler Godin. So Avital, we're getting, a, it's a few weeks away from the spookiest time of the year, Halloween. <laughs> how's, how's your classes and how's life been? Uh, it's going well. Uh, this week is really relaxing for me. Nice. You know what keeps me still relaxed throughout all of this? What? Reading the news. Yeah. Can you join me? Definitely. You want to get started? Let's do it. In this How about you, Connor? Week's news, uh, I'm going to be Captain America with, without, the, without the shield. And also for the little more of the spookier times, I'm kind of thinking of current day Eminem with, like the, with, a, with the black sweatshirt, um, hats, every, all the works. Sounds wow. like an easy costume. That's at least. just an easy costume. Yeah. <laughs> so I was planning on going with the say. cheetah costume. Well, we hope that this Halloween you're not too scared. Or um, spooked out. Or spooked out. But that's all the time we have for this year uh, for Halloween. And so we hope that you have a great holiday and Merry Christmas. We're your host. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. We're your host, Heather Downey. David Berg. Connor Baker as Captain America. And happy Halloween. 37 and a 50% chance of rain and on Sunday we're gonna have thunderstorms with a high of 58 a low of 34 and an 80% chance of rain on Monday we're gonna have mostly sunny with a high of 43 a low of 20 a right, high of 44 low of 23 and a 0% chance of rain on Tuesday it's gonna be mostly cloudy a high of 42 a low of 30 and 0% chance of rain and on Wednesday that pesky snow is coming back again folks we're having um, rain and snow, snow showers, a high of 42, a low of 24, and a 50% chance of rain. It's going to be a crazy week, Muhlenberg. Now back on over to the anchors. Five colleges, lots of food, and a lot of people. Ladies and gentlemen, I am one of the many hosts tonight. My name is Connor Baker, and welcome to Battle 
of the chefs. Hi. Hello, NBC. I'm back. My name is Connor. And Connor, what year are you? I'm a current sophomore. And how is your semester going? Uh, there's honestly at this point, there is no words. If you have a B in your hand, then that means aren't you already? <laughs> it would be beauty. Beauty would be in my eye. Oh, you, you are beautiful, man. Uh, you too, Connor. You too. <laughs> Stay tuned next week or next time for a first edition of True Street. Spooky edition. Stay classy, mules. And we're back. I am here with Connor. Hello, everyone. Your question for today is, what is the difference between a dog... Uh, the difference between a dog is there's a D, which is the, if I remember correctly, the fourth letter of the alphabet, then the O, which is... Thank you, Connor. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, it's cheesy. It's gourmet. I can serve everybody if you would oh, like. So nice. I, I, we I will say though, um, although others may have had like interesting opinions, I actually felt like that was a really good meal. The pizza? Uh, no, um, oh. the, the, the pizza is oh. delicious. I'm actually oh, thinking of going for the cheese. Oh. Wait, the cheese? Just the cheese? I look. I'm a cheese. I'm, I'm like a cheese guy. I'm a, my 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 parents my parents know this. I'm. I'm always somebody that goes for like the even like the little quarters of the cheese <laughs> right after. Mm. Yeah, no, that's that's a good part. Yeah. Some good stuff. <laughs> so I, Heather, you were in Moving Stories recently, right? Yeah. You what was that? Yeah. Wait, can we change the subject? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. I would probably say, Jimmy, J like Jimmy Fallon would be amazing to meet. Mm. I think also, also po probably just any, like anybody in general, because I think just honestly, I th I'm looking at this uh, group of us five here, and I got a really good feeling we're all going to be somewhere in the near future, because honestly, I, I absolutely love you guys, too. Um, it's, you guys have helped me, I think, motivate me to even um, be better at this, and Heather, I think, as I mentioned to you previously, thank you. You were, yourself- Don't you, make me cry, camera. Uh -huh. you just, I, I may cry first. Um, <laughs> yourself, Don't be sad. Your, yourself and David Berg were the first two people I ever did like a shoot with, and I oh. just, um, and to all the seniors, past and present, thank you because honestly, I love you guys to death. Oh. Um, keep, please keep in touch. We'd love to do an alumni, alumni Ooh, shoot. That's, that's your alumni Thanksgiving next year. Oh, Yo, yeah. that's a really good oh. idea. That way, I can come <laughs> back and make it four years in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I may possibly. Beat a record. I'm on two. Oh, well, we'll see. Watch out, I guess. Um, but I think that that's really, you know, I'm sorry, Ari. I know you didn't finish eating, but you know. <laughs> uh, for the viewers at home, sometimes there is some hidden footage that sometimes we like to f we film, but it never gets posted. If you'd like to, if you'd like to see some deleted scenes by the NBC channel, uh, please, please tweet us at cm underscore bake. Do we have Twitter? Is that your Twitter? Uh, yeah, that's, that's that's Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't think we have Twitter. Yeah. Do we have Twitter? I mean, we we're do now. We are. Yeah. So okay. if yeah, we can make a Twitter. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Connor, 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 Connor you have a Twitter. Connor. Connor. You do the Twitter yeah, on the Instagram. Sweet. Perfect. <laughs> Amazing. Very nice. All right. We're good then. Um, All right. So if you could tell me the two colors of the no. overcome. It's cardinal red. It's not red. It's cardinal red. And then gray. Wonderful. A plus. What year was? Hi. Welcome to NBC. I'm your host and one of the co-presidents, Maggie Mushkin. Hi everyone. After 18 long months, I am back in person. My name is Connor Baker, and I'm the other co-president for NBC. Maggie, it's so good to finally see you again. Not in a box. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Connor. How are you doing? I'm doing well. It feels surreal to just kind of be back be back in person, kind of doing a lot of like activities um, and stuff. It just feels weird though that this is our last semester as um, co-presidents and we're seniors. I know, it's so weird. Pretty soon we're gonna be alumni just like the people in this next segment. We hope you enjoyed this first episode of NBC. 
Please check our YouTube channel for weekly episodes along with following our Instagram at M-B-C-M-U-H-L-E-N-B-E-R-G on Instagram. I'm your host, Maggie Mushin. And I'm your other host, Connor Baker. Stay classy, mules! Woo! I would love to come back as a graduate. Um, just um, let, let Jonah know if any, anybody wants to do this, please talk to the people in the back and I can get you in contact if you want to do your own one person show because this changed my life. And thank you, thank you guys. Hi Connor, it's Phoebe. I just wanted to say I'm so proud of you for graduating. 
and you've made such a difference in my life and at Muhlenberg. You're one of the kindest, most supportive people I've ever met. You always make my day. You always make sure to say hi to everyone or make people feel like they belong. And you definitely made an impact on my life. So I'll never forget you and I wish you luck on your future journeys. And I'll miss you. Hey Connor, congrats on your graduation. I'm super proud of you and excited for you to see where life takes you next. Um, I'm gonna really miss your warm presence and just um, your smile around on campus. It's always been contagious and you have a really um, great way of just making everyone around you feel special and appreciated. Um, and Muhlenberg is not Muhlenberg without Connor Baker. So I think one of my favorite memories is during finals week, you were walking around just handing out pizza to people in GQ and in Fireside Lounge, and you offered me the last slice, and it was the thing that got me through my paper. Um, so thank you, Connor, and your legacy will live on here. Hi, Connor, congratulations on graduation. I wanna thank you for all that you've done at Muhlenberg and what you've done for me. You are an amazing person, and you're gonna go so far in life, and I look forward to seeing what you have to accomplish. Awesome, congrats. Connor, just a quick congratulations um, for your four years at Muhlenberg. Um, you've just been such a constant light in everyone's life. You're always at everyone's events, supporting everyone, making everyone's lives here at Muhlenberg so much brighter and happier. And everyone's so lucky to have you. This isn't a goodbye, just to see you later. So, ta-ta. Hey Connor, congrats on graduating. I'll miss your kindness and your goofiness next year and especially your neon clothes. They were a part of Muhlenberg for sure. And I also just wanna say thanks for making Muhlenberg so fun, <laughs> even though it only lasted about a year-ish with all of us together, but hey, I mean, it was worth it in the end. Um, yeah, have fun graduating and hopefully, you know, I'll see you on campus next year, but if not, congrats and good luck with everything else that comes your way. Hey Connor, congratulations on graduating. This is really exciting. Um, I just wanted to say a quick thank you for being so kind and friendly um, and just welcoming all the time. And it was really nice seeing you around campus a lot. Um, and good luck with your new endeavors. I know you're gonna do great things. Bye. Amanda. We lived with Connor our freshman year and we always loved how he would always check in on us and he was always there for us with everything and he's just the kindest person and most genuine person I've ever met. We, we love, love you Connor. You, Connor. We really thank you for everything that you've done for us. Yeah and it's so and sweet that you always walk over to our house all the time throughout mm -hmm. senior year. You Love you. Muhlenberg won't be the same without you. I'm going to miss you so much. And I'm going to miss us catching up whenever you came over. <laughs> we love you, Connor. Mwah. Mwah. Good luck next year. You're going to kill it. Hey, Connor. Congratulations on graduating. Yay. So exciting. Uh, it has been so great getting to know you this past year and always seeing your friendly and kind face across campus. You're definitely going to be missed, but please come back and visit. And yes, congratulations. Hey, Connor. Congrats on graduating. I can't wait to see what you accomplish after Muhlenberg, and I'm going to miss seeing your bright yellow jacket on campus and knowing it's you and knowing that you're there to go talk to. Yeah, and we're going to miss having you in NBC and uh, being a great president as you always were and seeing you around and always saying hello. Um, we wish you the best outside of college. We definitely want to stay in contact and hear about everything that you achieve because we know that uh, you will achieve so much uh, with your bright spirit. Congrats, Congrats Connor. Connor. You better come back and visit us at NBC. Hi 
daughter. Congratulations on everything you've accomplished. I cannot believe that we are graduating. Where did the time go? But I will always remember our amazing memories doing a Muhlenberg Broadcasting Channel together and doing PR together way back when. I can't believe how quickly the time flew. Um, but wishing you all the best. You are so loved and you have so much support from so many Muhlenberg students and we cannot wait to see all the amazing things that you'll do. Hey Connor! Hi, Connor! Thank you so much for always brightening everyone's day and just for being a supportive light on campus. Yeah. You're awesome yeah. and congrats on graduating! Woo! Yeah! Woo! From Hannah! And Savvy! Hey Connor! Woo! Thank you for being your authentic self in every space you walk into and for bringing such positive energy to everything you do. Muhlenberg has been so lucky to have you these past four years and I know you're gonna do great things wherever you go. There's been, like, what gives me energy on this campus is literally just having a five minute conversation with somebody or literally saying hi to somebody in the hallways. That, like, that gives me serotonin. Like, no, like, honest to goodness. Um, but I think a lot of, a lot of campus and stuff, I've, I've been involved in about 14 clubs. I somehow won, I, I won today the um, Student Activities of the Year Award um, today from the Honest Convocation. <laughs> Um, which which made me today realize I was like, man, I'm a volleyball. Who's that? <laughs> okay, I feel like they might be coming in. Um, anyway, um, but it's I think from what I realized with a lot with like campus and stuff, it's the opportunity to just kind of like see as much as possible with like any little thing because this is also such a thing. I've. Back in eighth grade, I wanted to have some sort of symbol to say like, hey, I like wanted to be as outgoing as possible, but not like too over the top. And it's always, it was with the bright clothing. I'm a big fan of the 1980s. The 1980s, I think, is probably one of the best decades of all time. Um, or at least one of the best decades for music, more in particular. Yeah. And, I, and I personally believe that, I think what ended up setting me apart with kind of at least the bright yellowness was um, just the chance to say like, hey, um, I'm, I'm, I'm here if you need it. It's been a staple, um, and also sometimes I've been referred to as the neon kid. Um, if anybody from a couple years ago, I remember, I think I jokingly did this in like a like a stand-up routine. My jacket I called I called it neon at one point, which is one of the most silliest things ever. But it somehow just was like a lot of fun to do. And if I can offer you any advice here today, it's um, at least for the underclassmen, especially for the seniors that are about to enter the working world. One of the best decisions I've made is literally just taking that first step and talking to people. And honestly, I think that was one of the best moves I've had because it like it leads you into so many stories that you would have never expected. Um, like, like I, thanks to Danica Schofer, I wouldn't have been like where I've been for a dancer. Um, if it wasn't if it wasn't for Walls, I wouldn't have been playing D and D. Um, I wouldn't have done as like many like many of the extracurriculars I've had if it wasn't for people as well. But yeah, if I, if I offer any like big advice just for kind of like anybody here, it's be you and like just kind of like enjoy as many moments as possible. I, it was my, my dad actually told me this um, a little while, a little while ago. He's like, kind of try to be involved as much as you can on this campus. I might have took his advice literally, but it's, <laughs> um, but it's, you, you but it's a situation. You don't do that this year? Um, stuff you're about. Freshman year. Okay, okay. 
<laughs> um, for, first, we were kind of was a tame O'Connor. What software you hit? It was like a zoom. Um, it just, and then it, and it almost just went for it. But the moments I've had on this campus, I will treasure because there's been people in here that's literally been like taught me about kind of the ways of like appreciating like kind of just the little things on campus, like through these four years. And honestly, like the reason why I kind of wanted to be, oh God, I'm getting choked up now. Um, the reason why I wanted to kind of be as like outgoing as I did was literally. I was bullied a lot in elementary school, and I think now with kind of college, it's it's taught, taught me with high school and college to literally just try to be as kind to people as, as possible. Like I mentioned earlier, yeah, it hasn't worked out as much in my favor. I've been I've been called so many names in the book, but it's literally I think just those one or two people that like have sent so much appreciation to me. That's what matters to me. Like literally, literally that makes that makes that makes my day and my my whole year. And yeah, I. Like I might be way too thankful on a couple things, but it's but it's but it's literally because of like how just c kind I am, and it like almost every moment. And as some people have coined this, this is what I'm about to say is a Connor Baker quote. Um, <laughs> every um, everybody has a story to tell. It's um, what pages and chapters life gives you a chance to read. I encourage all of you to be open to as many pages. I know campus right now is in like this very very hard division between like a lot of different stuff on campus. Don't be afraid, like if you find a common interest in somebody, just just talk to them. The worst thing I can say is like, hey, no, or like, hey, this is gonna be like, this is um, just like, I'm, I'm not interested in friend friendships. But literally just take that one step to say hello to somebody. That's been one of the best, best things. And be open to like new experiences. If you would've told me this past year, I would have been hypnotized, gone on two trips, um, got in, um, got in two words from honors convocation, then literally added like three or four clubs in like literally a stacked, a stacked club list. Um, I would have, I would have called you crazy, but thanks to Mjolnir, that actually happened. The last one of these kind of crisscross applesauce moments. So today, I want to thank the class of 2022. I, and honestly. I'm still in shock and still in awe over everything, but thank you literally for giving me moments today that I'm not forgetting for a long time. Each one today, I got goosebumps and I'm still kind of reliving over and over again. And what I realized, and somebody asked me a little while ago to do like a motivation type of video. And I have one more final quote, go out into the world, breathe and take a look around and enjoy every moment sometimes life moves so fast like technology and all that that sometimes even just like looking around at this at the stars or something is like very very important so always remember to breathe we got two days left make the most of it as possible